Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Hacker Tools. This week we will be looking at WP Scan because your WordPress is not as safe as you think it is. WordPress is huge. It's everywhere. Some even estimate over 30% of the public internet is built upon WordPress, which is insane. And are all of these sites secure? No. Not all of them are secure, so it's very important that you, as a bug bounty expert, know how to assess the security of a WordPress site. By default, your WordPress, uh, if it's up to date, it's most likely secure. Unless you have some zero day in it, it will be secure. However, vulnerabilities have been found in WordPress a lot. So if the site is using an out of date version, then that might introduce some security issues. However, on top of that, in WordPress you can use plugins and themes and these can be developed by external or third-party developers who mightn't have thought about security as much. Now, WordPress Scan is a utility that's going to scan all of these plugins, it's going to scan the versions of WordPress and all of these themes and then it will check against a huge database of found uh, vulnerabilities in plugins and themes and it will say okay this is vulnerable or this isn't. So that is what WordPress scan mainly does. However it can do a lot more things so like I said it can scan plugins, themes, WordPress versions but it can also do username enumeration, password brute forcing, it can search for config files for database dumps, it can ex find exposed error logs, uh, media file enumeration and so on. So it can do a lot of things and right now I would love to show off some of those things uh, while running the, um, the tool. So first of all, we obviously need a WordPress instance. And did you know that Integrity actually runs its blog on WordPress? So blog.integrity.com is using WordPress. And in fact, if we look at uh, Webalyzer, for example, we will also see that it is using WordPress. Cool. With that said, let's go over to the command line. Let's uh, use WP scan dash dash URL and supply the URL. So it's HTTPS blog.integrity.com and running that we see the scan aborts because the URL seems to be down. However, we just um, saw that it is up so that's not true uh, but it might be because I made a small mistake in the URL. Let's try it again. Uh, still the case. Okay. Now what if that is some firewall taking us down or some firewall saying, hey, no, that user agent, we don't allow it. So let's do dash dash random user agent. And with that, it seems to be working just fine. And let's say bug bounty tip uh, just for anyone out there. If your automated tools aren't working, try to use a random user agent and then maybe uh, it will work and instantly we get a lot of output here. So let's cover these outputs. First of all, it's gonna show us some interesting headers. So the server is Nginx, uh, then we have this weird X hacker um, header and so on. So that's interesting. It found a robots.txt which contains uh, wp-admin, um, fairly normal here. XML RPC seems to be enabled and it has some references if you wanna read more about this. It found the WordPress README um, and then some things the site has. WP cron seems to be enabled. And now we go into the more interesting stuff. For example, WordPress version 5.8 was identified and that is the latest version which was released the 20th uh, July, I believe. Then the WordPress theme that is being used, it's the integrity team. Um, so it's a custom integrity team. Uh, some information about the theme, the version, and so on. Now it starts enumerating all the plugins that are in use. For example, the Coblox plugin, it says, okay, this is where I found it. The latest version is 2.16.0, uh, and the version being used could not be determined. Um, cookie notice, the same deal there. Here with the Enlighter, um, 
plugin, it says, well, this version is out of date. The latest version is 4.4.2 and we have found version 3.7, which is interesting, which is something to check out for sure. Uh, then we have some more plugins, which, which seem to be uh, up to date. It didn't find any config backups. Um, and now we see two warnings here because we didn't supply an API to token. Uh, and what you can supply an API token and what that will do is um, that will go and check against the database of vulnerable plugins to find out if there is a vulnerability for a certain version. However, you can only make a certain amount of requests for free every day. Um, so I mainly like to do it manually. And let's just try that out. Let's see this Enlighter one might be interesting. Does it have any vulnerabilities? We can go to wpscan.com and then uh, we can just search and we will see that no results have returned. Okay, so there is probably not any public vulnerability in this one. However, if we were to, for example, search for Jetpack, then we could see that, hey, there might be one for versions below 9.8. What version are we using? That couldn't be determined, so it might be worth checking out uh, if it, this WordPress page is vulnerable to that. And that is mainly uh, how you can simply use WordPress uh, scan. However, there are more things that you can do. And I'm going to show the help page. These scans take a little longer to run, so that's why I didn't run them here. Um, but for enumeration, you can do a lot of enumeration. Uh, for example, what we did right now is just uh, all plugin scan. But you can also... Uh, for example, look for TimTums, which is a, uh, a PHP page that is, was widely used in the past and is vulnerable. Uh, you can check for users, so you can scan uh, ID ranges. You can scan media, so uh, content that has been uploaded. You can try to brute force that. Database exports and so, so on. You can, so you can use the dash E option uh, to set all of that. But you can also, of course, do a brute force. So using dash dash usernames and dash dash passwords, you can do a brute force that way. And so there is a lot more that this tool has to offer that takes a little bit longer. So that's why we didn't show it in this video. But I highly suggest you play around with it, grab on to some uh, WordPress pages and see what you can find. That is it for this video. However, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to subscribe and like down below. Um, as always, if you have any tools that you would love to see covered in the next videos, then comment them down below in the comments and we will uh, reply to you and perhaps cover that tool. Again, hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you for the next one.